What is the most terrifying tale you've ever heard? We all have stories that send chills down our spines, but few compare to the eerie tale of the old mill haunting. Picture a small town, its cobblestone streets whispering secrets of a malevolent presence that haunts the decaying walls of an ancient mill. A place where night brings with it bone-chilling screams and phantom footsteps, where lights flicker and shadowy figures dart in and out of sight. Prepare for a chilling journey into the heart of the old mill haunting. In a small town a dark secret lies hidden in the shadows, a secret that chills the bones and curdles the blood of even the bravest among us. The town, quaint and picturesque, harbors an unspeakable horror within its heart. The old mill. The mill, once a symbol of prosperity, now stands as a chilling monument to terror. Its skeletal structure, worn by time and neglect, casts long, ominous shadows that seem to swallow the light. Windows, vacant and lifeless, stare out like the hollow eyes of a skull, hinting at the malevolence that lurks within. Locals whisper of the mill's dark history, tales of tragic accidents and unexplained disappearances that date back decades. Whispers turn into hushed conversations at the sighting of spectral apparitions, ghostly figures glimpsed in the fading light of dusk. But it's not just sightings that keep the townsfolk awake at night. The silence of the small town is often shattered by spine-chilling screams that echo from the mill. The kind of screams that send shivers down the spine and turn dreams into nightmares. Accompanying these screams are phantom footsteps, a spectral march that seems to come from nowhere yet fills the night with dread. And then there are the lights, flickering, dancing, seemingly at their own accord, a spectral light show that paints the mill in an eerie glow, adding to the aura of fear and mystery that engulfs this ominous structure. Despite the terror that grips the town, there's a morbid fascination with the haunted mill. Many have tried to uncover its secrets only to flee in terror, their curiosity replaced by fear. The brave or foolish who venture too close speak of a cold, suffocating presence, a malevolent force that seems to seep from the very walls of the mill. But what is it that lurks within the decaying walls of the old mill? A question that hangs in the air, as palpable as the fear that grips this small town. A question that begs an answer, yet the answer might just be too terrifying to comprehend. As night falls and eerie silence descends upon the town, the once bustling streets are now deserted and the only light comes from the moon, casting long ominous shadows that seem to dance and flicker in the chilling breeze. The old mill standing tall and menacing in the distance becomes the epicenter of the town's fear. The first signs of the haunting are subtle. A faint whispering sound like the rustling of dry leaves filters through the air. Then, without warning, a blood-curdling scream pierces the silence, echoing off the ancient stone walls of the mill, causing the bravest hearts to quiver. Next come the phantom footsteps. Soft at first, like the pattering of raindrops, they grow louder, resonating through the empty streets, growing in intensity until they resemble the pounding of a desperate entity in search of solace. The lights in the mill and nearby homes start to flicker uncontrollably, a chilling spectacle of light and shadow begins, creating a spectral ballet that leaves onlookers frozen in terror. Then, the shadowy figures appear. Glimpsed from the corner of the eye, these apparitions materialize and vanish in the blink of an eye. They're seen darting past windows, disappearing into walls and lurking in the darkest corners of the mill. Their presence is felt more than seen, a chilling reminder of the mill's haunted past. The townsfolk, although terrified, refuse to be victims. They gather their courage, bolstered by the shared experience of the haunting. They recount their experiences, from the blood-curdling screams to the phantom footsteps, the flickering lights and the shadowy figures. Each story is a testament to their resilience in the face of the unknown. Despite their fear, the townsfolk have tried to rid themselves of this malevolent presence. Their attempts, while brave, have only served to deepen the mystery surrounding the old mill. But that, dear listeners, is a tale for another time. Armed with faith and courage, they've attempted to cleanse the mill. Brave souls, driven by a desire to restore peace to their tormented town, stepped forward to challenge the darkness. Their methods varied. Some sought help from religious figures, hoping that holy water and sacred rites would drive the evil away. Others turned to spiritual healers, believing in the power of crystals and sage to purify the mill's tainted aura. Priests, shamans and psychics were all called upon in the desperate attempts to exorcise the mill. Their efforts were intense, filled with fervor and determination. The air would fill with the scent of burning sage and incense as chants resonated through the decaying structure of the mill. 
the walls, once a silent witness to the horrors, would echo with prayers and incantations meant to banish the unseen tormentors. But the haunting persisted. No matter how many times they tried, the spectral screams continued to echo in the night. The shadowy figures remained, their spectral apparitions as elusive as ever. The mill, it seemed, was unwilling to let go of its dark residence. Each failed exorcism only amplified the fear of the townsfolk. The haunting had become a symbol of their collective dread. It was as if the mill itself was a living, breathing entity, feeding off their fear and growing stronger with each passing day. These attempts to exorcise the mill have become a part of the town's grim folklore. They serve as chilling reminders that some forces defy understanding, some evils resist cleansing, and some hauntings endure despite our best efforts to banish them. It's been said that courage isn't the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. Yet, in the face of the mill's relentless haunting, even the bravest souls found their courage tested. Despite their valiant efforts, the mill remained in the clutches of the unseen, its chilling presence a constant reminder of the town's enduring nightmare. But the sinister inhabitants remain, their malevolent presence as strong as ever. The old mill continues to stand, a silent sentinel to the town's dark secret, its haunting a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. To this day, the mystery of the old mill remains unsolved. The spectral echoes of its haunted past continue to reverberate through the town, casting an ominous pall over its residents. Despite the passage of time, the chilling tale of the old mill refuses to fade away. Instead, it seems to grow stronger, more insistent, more terrifying. This is no ordinary haunting. It's a malevolent force that has seeped into the very fabric of the town, twisting it with its dark influence. The shadowy figures that once were fleeting have become more pronounced, the phantom footsteps louder, the blood-curdling screams more frequent. The flickering lights once dismissed as mere electrical faults, are now recognized as the telltale signs of an unseen presence. The townsfolk live in a state of perpetual fear, their lives dictated by an entity they neither see nor understand. The once bustling town now lies silent, its streets deserted as night falls, and the haunting begins anew. The bravest souls venture out only in the light of day, while the rest cower in their homes, praying for the dawn. Visitors drawn by the allure of the mystery arrive with curiosity gleaming in their eyes, but that curiosity quickly turns to terror as they experience the haunting firsthand. Many flee before their visit is over, their faces pale, their eyes wide with fear. They leave with a story to tell, a chilling tale of a town held captive by an ethereal presence. Attempts to unravel the mystery have proved futile. Paranormal investigators, psychics, even priests have tried and failed to lift the shroud of fear. The entity that haunts the old mill remains elusive, its motives unknown, its identity a mystery. It seems to thrive on fear, feeding off the terror it instills in the townsfolk and visitors alike. The chilling tale of the old mill haunting continues to grip the town in a shroud of fear. An enduring mystery, it serves as a stark reminder of the unseen horrors that may lurk in the shadows, waiting for the cover of night to reveal themselves. As we leave the haunted town, we're left with a lingering question. The tale of the old mill haunting chills us to the bone, a reminder of the indelible power of fear and the unknown. This chilling narrative, wrapped in the shroud of the supernatural, serves as a stark testament to the fact that there are some mysteries that remain beyond the grasp of our understanding. The stories we've shared today are not merely tales spun around campfires or whispered in the dead of night. They are a part of the town's history, etched into the very fabric of its existence. The phantom screams, the flickering lights, the shadowy figures, these are not figments of imagination but a haunting reality for the residents of this small town. Yet it's this very eerie uncertainty, this ominous enigma that makes the story of the old mill one of the scariest ever. The haunting persists, a spectral reminder of a past that refuses to fade away, disturbing the tranquility of the present and casting an ominous shadow over the future. As we reflect on the old mill's haunting, we are compelled to grapple with our own fears, our own uncertainties. It forces us to question what truly lurks in the unknown, and more importantly, how do we confront it? What would you do if you found yourself in the heart of the old mill haunting?